<laughs> Takes me back to being a kid. Hi everyone, Tammy Allen with EXP Realty and I am so excited to be bringing you this video today about, you guessed it, the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Now this is the original beginning of the Swamp Rabbit Trail, but it has expanded. The original size of the trail is 23 miles. Now it ran from here in Cleveland Park in Greenville up to Traveler's Rest originally, but it has expanded and it's in many other areas. So we're gonna, we're gonna go over that today. I'll give you more information. I I want you to enjoy and check out the Swamp Rabbit Trail for yourself. You're going to love it. Welcome to Living in Greenville, South Carolina. Here we are at the start of the Swamp Rabbit Trail. You can see right over there is the Greenville Zoo. So we're, we're located here in Cleveland Park, a wonderful area in Greenville. And this is the start of the trail. If you continue walking this way, you will end up in 23 miles in Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. It's a fabulous walk or bike ride. You can bike ride, walk, run, whatever you want to do. And you'll see that it's actually filled with people even today uh, during the middle of the week. This is a beautiful Wednesday here in March of 2023. And I think you're going to love all that you see. Hey, how are you? Good. Hey, guys. Obviously filled with wonderful, friendly people. Lots of Southern hospitality. Also, here at the start of the Swamp Rabbit Trail is the Greenville County Vietnam Veterans Memorial. It's always something you can stop by and take a look at to honor our veterans. So here's a really cool tip. These are picnic shelters along the way in Greenville County and along the Swamp Rabbit Trail. And check this out. If you want to reserve one to maybe stop and have a great picnic one day, all you have to do is scan this for the availability. Walking alongside the Reedy River on the Swamp Rabbit Trail is one of the joys of being in this beautiful area, listening to the water, and the waterfalls. Now, of course, the Swamp Rabbit Trail runs all along the Reedy River, taking you into the downtown area. Coming through Falls Park on the Swamp Rabbit Trail is of course a joy. As you can see, there are the falls behind me. 
also the Liberty Bridge here in Falls Park, the iconic bridge here in Greenville, South Carolina. So the Swamp Rabbit Trail originally was a railroad here through the city of Greenville, obviously, and Greenville Northern Railroad was a good railroad, but passengers of the railway said that oftentimes the trains would hop the tracks, just like the native Swamp Rabbit in this area. So there you go, that's where the name came from, the Swamp Rabbit Trail. So this trail is phenomenal. It started out as a nine mile greenway. It was made to go through the city and it was fabulous. That was in 2009. Currently, it's almost 25 miles long and we've got more expansion happening past Cleveland Park, which is where I started in this video. And it actually goes out uh, Lawrence Road out to Malden and in that area. So we are loving this trail. If you have not made a, been able to get out to the Swamp Rabbit Trail yet, be sure and come out here, bring your dog, have a great time because you are going to love and they are gonna love walking out here with you. It's fabulous. Get on your bike, get on your roller skates, come for a walk, whatever you wanna do, just get out and enjoy it. As you can see, the Swamp Rabbit Trail brings you right through the heart of downtown Greenville. And this is where you would continue on. I'm gonna take a little quick turn here. We're gonna go up on this great bridge right here at the Main Street Bridge. And I wanted to just show you this area because it's, it's a very iconic area of Greenville as well, especially in the downtown area. You can see all the Canada geese here. There are often ducks here in the summer. It's really, it's really just fabulous. I mean, look at all this. It's so beautiful. And this is really a treat in Greenville for anyone coming through the downtown area. Now you are gonna see incredible sights here, like these gorgeous riverfront condos that are here. Across the way is the Peace Center and all of its glory, all the wonderful things. There's restaurants here. Of course, we just passed Hall's Chop House. So there are so many wonderful things to enjoy along your way. Now, one thing that you're gonna love is when you're walking through here, you're gonna see, obviously, just like today, the signs of spring, and then in the summer, all the full bloom, everything bright green and beautiful and lush. You're just going to love Greenville. That is why we're called Greenville. So but as you're walking down the Swamp Rabbit Trail here, just past the Peace Center, you've got the option to cross over the street up there, but I don't know why you'd want to because they have this fantastic part of the trail going here under this bridge, getting you safely under Academy Street in downtown and bringing you out on the other side. When you start here at the Swamp Rabbit Trail or as you're walking by, you wanna be sure and visit the children's garden. This is a nice little surprise along the way. So be sure and visit this area. Here's a little peek into what Unity Park is and we're gonna head that way, which is only 0.4 miles from here. And now we are here at the Unity Park, which is a fantastic new park here in Greenville. I think you're absolutely gonna love it. And as you can see, you have the fast zone this way and then the slow zone this way. So we're gonna take a, a walk this way so that you can get the full effect of Unity Park, which is a fantastic, amazing new addition to Greenville. Now we are here at the playground here at Unity Park and it is absolutely one of the most original, incredible playgrounds you've ever seen. Please comment below. Let me know what you think about the features of this playground. The best thing about Unity Park, it's not just for kids. <laughs> Takes me back to being a kid.
Now, obviously in the summertime, this is gonna be the water splash station. It of course is closed for the winter season, but will open very soon. It's the Greenville Water Splash Pad. It opens May 1st, open from 1 p.m. to sunset on Mondays, and then all day, all the other days, it's open all day. Here's an additional playground area that is fantastic for the smaller kids. And of course, fantastic restroom facilities. Here at Unity Park, you're also going to find the Commons here, which is an old mill area here in the Unity Park area where Unity Park is now. And it is filled with all sorts of businesses from Prisma Health to Methodical Coffee and Community Tap. A lot of uh, restaurants that are right down there. There are fantastic automatic tacos down there. And I think you're gonna find a wonderful array of foods. You can stop in there and take, uh, you know, take a few minutes to rest and get rejuvenated, get something to drink, something to eat or you can con continue walking on down the trail just a little ways and you're gonna find the Swamp Rabbit Grocery and Cafe. Here at another feature in the Unity Park area, the RO Bridge, which is a fantastic crossing over the Reedy River. and it's donated by the RO Hotels. When you take a right just before the RO Bridge, it crosses over to the main Swamp Rabbit Trail. This is the slow zone of the Swamp Rabbit Trail that goes on the back side of the commons here. So you have some entrances to the businesses on this side. You can actually even enter Methodical Coffee and then Pangea is here as well. Pangea here is a phenomenal pizza place. We have not had the chance to eat here yet, but we have got to check this out. And walking down this pedestrian bridge here, crossing over to the main part of the Swamp Rabbit Trail. We're coming up on Southern Side Brewing Company and a couple of other businesses right on the trail. So that is such a treat to be on your bike riding and maybe you can just stop, park your bike, run in, get something to eat or drink, get a refreshment, uh, sit at the outside bar that they even have here and take a little break and then get back to it. Now this is truly a treat here on the Swamp Rabbit Trail. This is the Swamp Rabbit Cafe and Grocery. It started out as a very small store many years ago and was adorable. And now it's still adorable, but they have definitely expanded. It happens to be a fantastic grocery store full of organic uh, and local produce and vegetables, all sorts of great stuff, meats, everything you can imagine, they have it here. Look at this, their decor is so cool because they use the the tires and the spokes to be a part of the fencing here. It's really cool. Here is the cafe and grocery. You can place cafe orders here, pick up here, and then the grocery is straight ahead and then to the left on this side. It's really an amazing venue. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is one of my favorite parts of the Swamp Rabbit Trail and that is where it comes up to Furman University. So we've almost made it to Traveler's Rest today. We'll hop up there in just a little bit. And so this kind of shows you, uh, here's the map, it's pretty big. There we go. And we're gonna post this uh, on the video as well, or at least in the comments so you can get to it. It's from Greenville County Rec. And uh, I mean, this is really gorgeous. If you've never been to Furman University, um, I dare say this is one of the most beautiful college campuses in the nation. Okay, here we are coming up to the last part of the Swamp Rabbit Trail. We have made it to Traveler's Rest and as you can see, Farm to Table is right here. So there's a ton of places you could go to in downtown Traveler's Rest 
to reward yourself, whether it's upcountry provisions across the street, whether it's farm to table, or this great ice cream shop here, Pink Mama's. Also, there's Monkey Wrench Barbecue, which is fantastic, great brisket. And then just before that, there's Sidewall. There's all sorts, there's a Whistle Stop Cafe. There's all sorts of great rewards. Across the street, you can see there is the Swamp Rabbit Brewery. I think you can see right through there, Swamp Rabbit Brewery. You can get a local beer. Um, there's so much you can get and enjoy. Traveler's Rest is an amazing downtown. One day soon, I'm gonna be doing another video about Traveler's Rest, giving you a special feature into what a great town this is and why it's so popular and such a popular place to move to in Greenville. So right now, I think I'm gonna get myself a sweet treat of ice cream. Okay, so I'm really trying to decide. This is an absolutely adorable shop here in Traveler's Rest. It's an ice cream shop. And I'm trying to decide between lavender white chocolate, which sounds amazing, or the award-winning chocolate. They do have Hershey's ice creams. What do you think? Award-winning chocolate or lavender and white chocolate? Um, probably the lavender and white chocolate. Maybe both. That's a good idea. I think I'll have a small scoop of both, just in a cup. That would be great. Thank you. This is such a cute ice cream shop and I can't wait to try this ice cream. It's really going to be phenomenal, I think, so I can't wait to dig in. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching my channel. I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure and let me know what you think about the channel. Are we giving you the content that you're looking for? If not, let me know. Thank you again. I can't wait to see you living in Greenville, South Carolina.